what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about final destination 6 in this video here today final destination bloodlines i should say so final destination bloodlines we know is currently filming out in canada and it is going to be revolving around this girl stephanie who is dealing with this premonition related to an event that happened in the past that her grandmother esther was involved with a tower collapse she saved a bunch of people and messed up death's design now death is coming after this family that has existed for all these years because it shouldn't have if esther didn't intervene and killing them by date of birth so here's the thing final destination six might be another prequel and we need to examine this possibility i don't think it would function as a twist the way five did at the end with flight 180 and this is all due to set footage that's been shared with me shout out to jen for sending this stuff to me sending it my way the footage i've seen also indicates something is being filmed involving train tracks so this would be what the third incident related to train tracks i think if you count wendy's premonition at the end of three carter's near death experience in the og you'll start seeing some of this footage i'm talking about related to uh filming for final destination six and how it correlates to this video but the cars in the footage all appear to be fitting for the 90s and not modern time. Again, all of this footage is from the set of Final Destination 6. After some thinking, I was like, it wouldn't be too unrealistic for this to be in the 90s because I was leading or leaning on the idea that we would be set in modern times. But now that you now that I think about it, it does make it a little bit messy. The tower collapse that's a, that's supposed to be the main premonition happened in the 60s. And death has spent the last few years killing families that never should have existed because Esther saved them. And the theory for me and a few others has been Final Destination 1 through 5 will all be linked to that tower accident to connect the whole series together to this one big event. However, like I stated, it does seem rather ambitious to try and connect all of this to a tower incident from the 60s. A lot of reasonable questions are raised. For one, if the kids having premonitions in 1 through 5 are related to someone from the tower accident, why wouldn't death also target their parents first since since death's strategy in six is going to be killing people in order by date of birth why would alex kimberly wendy and the rest have death on their tail before their parents die if one through five have anything to do with the tower collapse which lends me to think that one through five have absolutely nothing to do with the tower collapse i wouldn't be surprised if filming was set in the 2000s or late 90s for this upcoming sixth film don't forget tony todd is supposed to be back and we're supposed to be digging into william bloodworth's origins like never before possibly even his childhood tony todd has already wrapped his scenes for the movie and knowing that bloodworth will be expected to be back is it possible that the reason bloodworth knows so much about death is because of what happens in this movie bloodworth may have been the little boy esther kept safe in the premonition for the upcoming sixth film but what if Bloodworth was also never supposed to die in that tower collapse? So what I could end up seeing happening is that Stephanie, some point in this film, if Bloodworth is that little boy, because Bloodworth could, of course, end up not being a little boy in the premonition that's referenced from the plot details that have surfaced. But if he is said little boy, I could see Stephanie tracking him down, talking to him about it. And then over time, Bloodworth's experience with this family off of their assumptions that his life is in danger is what lends to him gaining knowledge that he shares with the characters that we've met in the past five films specifically how we met him in the first movie because they're going to realize in a twist that bloodworth was never going to die and that while he was in the premonition esther didn't really have to keep that little boy safe because that little boy was never in any grave danger he was always going to make it out that could be a unique twist and then that again is how we dig into the origins of bloodworth even further someone who was involved in death's design saved him at a young age and then because that family resurfaced all these years later in his adult life that is how he picked up on these tips and tricks that he shares with alex claire and everyone else that he encounters from one through five this could be the way they explain his origins without digging too deep into the character but in a way it does chip away at the mystique because now we're we're aware of how he knows so much because he's been involved with an incident similar to that and a family that assumed he was in danger died in front of his eyes 
he collected as much knowledge as he could about Def's design that way and then he shared it with everyone else in one through five i know some people wouldn't even like that again it's just speculation but i do have to stress that in this footage notice all the cars they look very dated so I would imagine we're not going to be getting a movie set in modern times. That is not confirmed. It's just reasonable things to consider when all of these cars do not look like they're from 2020. They don't even look like they're from the 2010s. They look like they're ripped from the 90s, early 2000s. So I think we could have another prequel on our hands. This, what would this be? The second prequel? A prequel to the, all the rest of the five movies. This would be the first chronological movie or the first movie in chronological order, possibly if what I'm speculating off of this footage is indeed 100% correct. But you guys can let me know if you think the Final Destination 6 will be a prequel, why or why not, down in the comment section below. If it is indeed another prequel, I just hope that how it's executed doesn't create some logic gaps in the story. For instance, how come Alex never found anything about this tower collapse during the first movie? Why didn't anyone else find anything about this tower collapse? Because the internet was around. Granted, the internet was was not as big as it is today. But still, we saw them use the internet. I would think that Alex or somebody else who had a premonition would have discovered something about the Skyview tower collapse and would have drawn connections. Just something to consider. I hope if it is a prequel, because it's not confirmed, just me again speculating based off of the fact that these cars on set look very old. If it's a prequel, hopefully the execution does not create logic gaps in the one through five of movies and based on some other behind the scenes footage that i did not share in this video we may already have an idea of at least two potential stars who are going to make it to the final sequence final act of final destination six assuming they're filming in order just going off of some of the attire i saw these two stars wearing it, it, it would it'll feel more fitting in the finale that's not to say that they would make it out alive because you know this these these movies always tend to end with the survivors we thought would survive ending or dying i meant to say but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video